Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Wednesday. We've got 15 matchups on this MLB slate today. So be sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my betting links in the description below to get in on the action. Go ahead, turn on those notification bells. And yeah, we'll hop in it. Busy slate today. Starting with the Tampa Bay Rays versus the Minnesota Twins. Rays opening up as road favorites at minus 120. Wins plus 110 with the over under at eight and a half. Rays coming into this matchup 89 and 57. The Twins 76 and 69. Pitching for the Rays is Taj Bradley with an ERA of 5.34. Pitching for the Twins is Dallas Cushell with an ERA of 4.78. Bradley, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up four runs, had five strikeouts. Kuchel, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up two runs, had six strikeouts. The Rays losing to the Twins yesterday, 3-2. to two. Uh, Still got the underdog cover yesterday. Uh, so far, uh, both teams splitting a win in this series so far. Rays are 5-1 and one against the Twins. I mean, they've been very good head-to-head -head against the Twins here. Uh, both pitchers giving up, giving up some runs here. Giving up some runs. Um, I still, I still like the Rays in this one a little bit more, and uh, I think I'm gonna I'm lean with Tampa Bay on the road here. Next matchup, we got the Chicago Cubs versus the Colorado Rockies. Cubs opening up as road favorites at minus 170. The Rockies plus 140 with the over under at 11 and a half. Cubs coming into this matchup 78 and 68. The Rockies 52 and 92. Pitching for the Cubs is Jamison Tylon with an ERA of 5.40. Pitching for the Rockies is Ty Blatch with an ERA of 4.58. Tylon, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up zero runs, had nine strikeouts, coming off one of his better performances of the season here. Blatch, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up four runs, had six strikeouts, coming off two bad starts on the mound. The Cubs losing to the Rockies yesterday, six to four. Uh, both teams splitting up a game so far in this series. Uh, yeah, I like the Cubs in this one. I like Tylon coming off a good start here. Uh, Latch hasn't been that great on the mound lately, and uh, I'm gonna take Cubs on the road here. Next matchup, we got the Cleveland Guardians versus the San Francisco Giants. Giants opening up as home favorites at minus 125. The Guardians plus 115 with the over under at 8. Guardians coming into this matchup 69 and 77. The Giants 74 and 71. Pitching for the Guardians is Logan Allen with an ERA of 3.68. Pitching for the Giants is Kyle Harrison with an ERA of 4.87. Allen, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up one run. At six strikeouts. Harrison, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up three runs, had five strikeouts. Cleveland coming off a Giants win yesterday, a nice uh, underdog win for them. Cleveland, um, you know, haven't played that well. Giants ruining their little four game winning streak they were on. Cleveland one and six against San Francisco. First time beating the Giants in a, in a long time. Two and nine on the road against the Giants here. And uh, pretty even pitching matchup. And, uh, you know, I like to say this a lot, but, you know, I find these teams where they just haven't won back to back games and they haven't won back to back games against, you know, the Giants, gosh, in forever. So uh, I'm just going to roll the dice and roll the, you know, take a shot with the numbers and uh, take the Giants at home here. Next matchup, we got the St. Louis Cardinals versus the Baltimore Orioles. Baltimore opening up as home favorites at minus 175. The Cardinals plus 150 with the over under at 10. Cardinals coming into this matchup 64 and 81. The Orioles 91 and 53. Pitching for the Cardinals is Drew Rom with an ERA of 7.79. Pitching for the Orioles is Kyle Gibson with an ERA of 5.12. Rom, his last start, he pitched three innings, gave up four runs, 
had zero strikeouts. Gibson, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up three runs, had three strikeouts. St. Louis coming off a Baltimore loss. I'm sorry, coming off a Baltimore win yesterday. Nice underdog win for St. Louis. Both teams splitting a win so far in this series. St. Louis is just two and five against Baltimore here. Um, pretty even pitching matchup. Both pitchers giving up about three-ish runs a game here. But um, I still like the Orioles to bounce back here. And I'm going to take Baltimore at home. Next matchup, we got the Washington Nationals versus the Pittsburgh Pirates. Pirates opening up as home favorites at minus 135. Washington plus 120 with the over under at nine. Washington coming into this matchup 65 and 80. The Pirates 67 and 78. Pitching for the Nationals is Jackson Rutledge with an ERA of zero. Pitching for the Pirates is Colin Selby with an ERA of 8.64. Uh, Selby, his last start, he pitched one inning, gave up three runs, had two strikeouts. Rutledge looks like he's getting his first start here for the Nationals today. Uh, Nationals losing to the pit yesterday, 5-1. to one. And with a new pitcher on the mound, just not in love with that here. Uh, Selby's been pretty good on the mound this season for them, and uh, I think I'm going to take the Pirates at home. Next matchup, we've got the Atlanta Braves versus the Philadelphia Phillies. Braves opening up as road favorites at minus 170. Phillies plus 140 with the over under at 9. Braves coming into this matchup 95 and 50. The Phillies 79 and 66. Pitching for the Braves is Spencer Strider with an ERA of 3.83. Pitching for the Phillies is Christopher Sanchez with an ERA of 3.26. Strider, his last start, he pitched two innings, gave up six runs, had five strikeouts. Sanchez, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up zero runs, had four strikeouts. The Braves coming off a Phillies win. Uh, two and one in the series so far for Atlanta here. They are five and one against Philly. Eight and two on the road, really getting it done on the road right now. Uh, Strider coming off a of six, you know, two rougher games here, but nonetheless, still been very good on the mound. Uh, hopefully, he can have a better game today. And uh, I think I'm going to lean with the Braves on the road here. Next matchup, we got the Cincinnati Reds versus the Detroit Tigers. Detroit opening up as home favorites at minus 140. The Reds plus 125 with the over under at eight and a half. Reds coming into this matchup 75 and 71. The Tigers 66 and 78. Pitching for the Reds is Connor Phillips with an ERA of 9.64. Pitching for the Tigers is Eduardo Rodriguez with an ERA of 3.18. Phillips, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up five runs, had seven strikeouts. Rodriguez, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up three runs, had four strikeouts. The Reds um, on a two-game winning streak, beating Detroit yesterday 6-5. to five. They are 4-2 and two against Detroit here. Uh, not the greatest pitching battle. Both pitchers giving up some, giving up about three-plus runs a game here. Um, I think I'm going to take a shot with the Reds, plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Texas Rangers versus the Toronto Blue Jays. Toronto opening up as home favorites at minus 125. The Rangers plus 115 with the over under at 8. Rangers coming into this matchup 80 and 64. Toronto 80 and 65. Pitching for the Rangers is Jordan Montgomery with an ERA of 3.62. Pitching for the Blue Jays is Yusai Kikuchi with an ERA of 3.57. Montgomery, his last start, he pitched 5 innings, gave up 5 runs, at six strikeouts. Kikuchi, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up one run at eight strikeouts. The Rangers um, on a four-game winning streak right now, coming off back-to-back -to -back Toronto wins. Uh, Toronto back-to-back -to -back losses here. Thought they'd be good this series. They've had good pitching matchups. Haven't been able to win. Rangers finally building up a little win streak on a four-game winning streak here. I think it's what they definitely needed because they've been struggling 
Uh, Kikuchi coming off two good starts. Montgomery coming off, you know, a couple of rough starts, giving up five and six runs here. But uh, I think the Rangers are on a roll right now. And um, I'm going to take the Rangers plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we've got the Arizona Diamondbacks versus the New York Mets. Arizona opening up as road favorites at minus 140. The Mets plus 125 with the over-under at 8.5. Arizona coming into this matchup 76 and 70. The Mets 66 and 78. Pitching for Arizona is Zach Gallen with an ERA of 3.31. Pitching for the Mets is Joey Lucchesi with an ERA of 3.54. Gallen, his last start, he pitched nine innings, gave up zero runs, had nine strikeouts. Lucchesi, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up zero runs, had five strikeouts. Arizona losing to the Mets yesterday, 7-4. to four. Nice win for the Mets. Both teams splitting a game so far in this series. Arizona has struggled against the Mets. 1-5 against the Mets. 2-13 on the road against the Mets. So the struggles are there. Both pitchers coming off a zero-run game here. Zach Gallon's been good on the mound. His prior two games, though, giving up five and six runs here. Um, I like the Mets here, getting underdog value here. And um, I'm going to take the Mets plus one and a half at home. Next matchup, we got the New York Yankees versus the Boston Red Sox. Boston opening up as home favorites at minus 125. The Yankees plus 115 with the over under at nine and a half. Yankees coming into this matchup 73 and 72. Austin 73 and 72 as well. Pitching for the Yankees is Clark Schmidt with an ERA of 4.54. Pitching for the Red Sox is Tanner Houck with an ERA of 5.28. Schmidt, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up three runs, had six strikeouts. Houck, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up five runs, had five strikeouts. The Yankees. On a three-game winning streak here, back-to-back -back wins against Boston, all underdog wins. I, I think they're getting poorly misjudged in this series so far. I feel like they should have been the favorite uh, or in a pick on the last two games here, uh, the way they've played against the Boston here. Um, Schmidt's been a little bit better than Hauk the last few matchups on the mound. And uh, yeah, I'm still going to take Yankees plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Oakland Athletics versus the Houston Astros. Houston opening up as home favorites at minus 270. Oakland plus 235 with the over-under at 9. Oakland coming into this matchup 46 and 99. The Astros 82 and 64. Pitching for Oakland is Paul Blackburn with an ERA of 4.08. Pitching for the Astros is Hunter Brown with an ERA of 4.78. Blackburn, his last start, he pitched three innings, gave up two runs, had five strikeouts. Brown, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up six runs, had five strikeouts. Oakland, back-to-back -back monster wins against Houston here, winning 4-0 and 6-2. Crazy, getting at like plus 250 both the games. It's insane they're getting the wins like this. I don't think anyone saw this coming. Um... If you've been riding Oakland as an underdog, congrats. Um, yeah, I mean, Hunter Brown coming off a six-run game. Hasn't been that encouraging. Um, Blackburn, been pretty, you know, been, been okay. Hasn't been horrible here. Um, man, the Astros, they've just been underperforming so much. And you know what? I'm too far deep into the invested in the Astros this series. I got to stick with Houston at home. I think they get it done here. But if you've been riding Oakland, hey, I don't hate it. I might throw, maybe I throw them in a round robin the way Oakland's been winning here. But uh, I'm going to take Oakland. Um, I'm sorry, I'm going to take Houston here. Uh, been with them the last two games here. I'm not going to switch up. Give me Houston at home. Next matchup, we've got the Kansas City Royals versus the Chicago White Sox. White Sox opening up as home favorites at minus 150. The Royals plus 135 with the over under at eight and a half. Pitching for the Royals is Steven Cruz with an ERA of 7.20. Pitching for the White Sox is Mike Clevenger with an ERA of 3.64. Clevenger, his last start, he pitched seven innings. Gave up zero runs, had seven strikeouts. 
Uh, can't find any pitching info on Cruz for some reason. Uh, Kansas City winning 11 to 10 uh, in the second game and then losing 6 to 2 in the doubleheader they had. So uh, both teams splitting a pair yesterday. I mean, just a just an ugly series to cover, really. Um, Levenger coming off a good start here. Both teams giving up runs and, you know, splitting yesterday. Definitely tough. I think I would take a shot with the Royals plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Miami Marlins versus the Milwaukee Brewers. Marlins opening up as road favorites at minus 110. The Brewers plus 110. I'm sorry, the Brewers plus 100 with the over under at eight. Marlins coming into this matchup 74 and 71. The Brewers 81 and 63. Pitching for the Marlins is Braxton Garrett with an ERA of 3.82. Pitching for the Brewers is Trevor Megal with an ERA of 3.38. Garrett, his last start, he pitched three innings, gave up one run, had four strikeouts. Uh, Megal, don't have info on Megal for some reason. Uh, Miami, back-to-back -back losses against the Brewers here. Brewers have looked very good in this series. Getting underdog value when they really should be the favorite, honestly. They're 10 and 1 at home. And um, yeah, I'm going to take Brewers plus 1.5 here. Next matchup, we got the San Diego Padres versus the Los Angeles Dodgers. Dodgers opening up as home favorites at minus 120. The Padres plus 110 uh, with the over under at 8.5. Padres coming into this matchup 68 and 78. The Dodgers 88 and 56. Pitching for the Padres is Blake Snell with an ERA of 2.52. Pitching for the Dodgers is Ryan Pepwa with an ERA of 0 0.86. Snell, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up two runs, had eight strikeouts. Pepwa coming off back-to-back -back zero-run games here. Strange series so far. Padres losing 11-2 yesterday, but then winning 11-8 the game prior sucks to have be a part of a game like this when it's a, a lopsided affair um after a win because that you know that does definitely hurt following the next day you know who to bet on we know the padres they are two and nine against the dodgers four and 16 on the road against the dodgers here um gonna be a good pitching battle both pitchers barely giving up two runs a game here um and i think I think I'm going to have to lean with the Dodgers here in a good pitching battle. We'll lean with the better team that plays better at home, and uh, I'm going to take the Dodgers in this one. In the last matchup, we got the Los Angeles Angels versus the Seattle Mariners. Seattle opening up as home big home favorites at minus 310. The Angels plus 250 with the over-under at 7.5. Angels coming into this matchup 68-78. and 78. Seattle 80-65. Pitching for the Mariners is Luis Castillo with an ERA of 3.13. Uh, it looks like it's undecided right now for the Angels. So be sure to check that status when that uh, info does get released. Uh, Castillo been pretty solid on the mound here. And uh, yeah, Angels losing 8-0 yesterday. Uh, yeah, not a good performance yesterday. Uh, Otani is questionable, so be sure to check his status. He definitely makes a huge difference in the lineup if he is playing or not. Uh, yeah, from what I saw yesterday, not in love with it. Um, I do like Seattle at home, six and two at home. Um, able to get a big win yesterday here. I think I'm gonna have to roll with the Mariners at home in this one. And that's gonna be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Wednesday. Hope you guys all cash out and I'll see you guys Thursday. Have a good one.